What's going on guys? So Marty back here again with the weekly Rust Skins videos and yes I am a day late for this but that is okay. So we don't have anything too crazy going on this week but we do have the hieroglyphic large box so that is going to be... Hey babes! Liddy lit! <laughs> what are you doing bud? <laughs> Why? Well I was just but recording the video. <laughs> I just joined and heard you talking in your video. I was like why the fuck are you in this school? Uh huh. Oh god, Rip. well, time to finish this recording. <laughs> <Fun> <laughs> okay guys, so as I was saying, I'm pretty sure you would have heard this part before I had to cut the rest of the video, but the hieroglyphic large box has been added. As you guys know, the hieroglyphics sheet metal door got added a couple of weeks ago, so that's probably going to increase the price of that a little bit. This is going for $2.35, so that is a good thing. Uh, it hasn't gone up in price or anything like that. But we will start off with no clothing, no armor, weapons. We'll start off with the weapons and we'll have a look at the Abyss bow. Is this actually going to dog it and I'm not going to be able to look at it? I'm assuming I'm not going to be able to look at it, so that is a massive stitch up. Okay, so the Abyss bow is going for $3.15, which is the standard store price. I have to look at it at the uh, Rust workshop at the moment, so I've actually got to look at it on something else instead of the Rust item store. But that is okay. I'm not 100% sure if the Abyss bow glows or not. Uh, overall, it's actually a pretty cool looking bow skin. If it does glow in the dark, I'm going to say the demand for it will probably be less once it leaves the Ross item store. But if it doesn't glow in the dark, I do think it's a unique enough bow and cool enough bow skin to actually go up above that $3.15. Although, as I've said about the bow skins in the past, we do have around about half of them underneath this standard store price or around about this price, and then the other half are above it. So. The bows are definitely a coin flip, and so for that reason, I'm going to say that they're too risky for you to invest in, and I won't recommend investing in bulk. If you do want to invest in it, and you actually like the skin, then it's definitely going to be a safer investment if you buy it and use it as a play skin. Uh, in other words, you'll have it for a longer period of time, and eventually the price for it should actually go up. So we'll just quickly check the Ross item store. It's currently the second on the top sellers, though, so that is a problem in my opinion. I do think that the bow skins will easily have too much quantity if it's at second, especially throughout the whole week, to actually not outweigh the demand. So I do think that this skin is definitely going to be this bow skin is definitely going to be a risky investment for this week, and for that reason, I'm not going to recommend investing in it. All right, moving over to the building block hammer. This is a quite a unique hammer skin, obviously made out of Lego or something like that. I'm actually a fan of this skin. I do think that it is unique enough for it to go above its center store price, which is $3.15. That is also what it is selling at for, for this week. I do think that the hammer skins are usually quite a safe investment. And currently there are only five out of the 21 skins that are actually below the center store price. So you've only got a 25% chance of failure with the hammer skins. And for that reason, I do think that investing in the building block hammer is going to be a relatively safe investment. Most of the time though, hammer skins are medium to long-term investments. So I don't think you're gonna make fat stonks over the next week or two. Although I do still think that you're gonna make profit. In saying that, I do also think that if you can sell them on day one, then you can make some easy profits there as well. So if you're one of the people that like to try and sell your skins immediately day one, then I also recommend trying to do that as well. Overall though, really unique looking hammer skin and I do recommend investing in this skin for this week. Alrighty guys, moving over to the Monument Memories SAR. This is the stock version of it, so the one that actually has the stock on the back. According to the accepted items in the workshop, I... I'm not a massive fan of these skins, the Monument Memory skins, as a set, as a whole. But because this SAR has actually been released, I would probably say that the AK's most likely gone up in value because of that. And if you do have one, then there is a chance that it has spiked. I haven't actually checked myself. Then there's probably a high chance that the AK has actually gone up in price over the past day. So overall for the Monument and Memories AR, I mean it's the same theme as the other stuff so it looks cool to some people. I'm personally not a massive fan of it. I do like the recycler on the back. There's no ADS picture in the workshop pictures. Overall SARs are usually safe investments. There is only one out of the six pages that are actually below this $3.15. And so overall, it should be a relatively safe investment. I'll just quickly check where it's at. It is currently the third most bought item though. So just watch it throughout the week because if it does get oversaturated, then I don't see the price of the actual SAR skin going up. So 
just keep that in mind. Overall for this week, if it does stay in the top three all week, I'm not going to recommend investing in it. If it got, if it does go down, then I will recommend investing in it because SARs are usually pretty safe investments. Alrighty guys, moving over to the Sweet Poison AR. So this is obviously a part of the new set with the uh, Poison Armor. I actually was not expecting the, I mean, I've already seen the skin, but I wasn't expecting the skins set to actually go this route where it's got like the cartoony kind of vibes on the AK. I was not expecting that. I was thinking it was going to be a lot more military styled, but obviously I was wrong there. Overall, it's actually a really cool looking AK skin. I personally really think that the art style on it is quite unique and pretty pretty cool. Although most people do already have a favorite AK, so it is a little bit more risky to invest in AKs, but because this is a new set and we've just got the armor pieces in, then I would say I will recommend investing in the Sweet Poison AK just because I do see potential of more poison gear getting added and if more poison gear gets added then the sweet poison AK will go up in value so it is currently just the standard store price of $3.15 and for that reason I do think overall it should be a safe investment for this week and even if none of the other poison stuff actually does get accepted or get made or whatever then I do still see this poison AK going up in price over time. Alright guys, moving over to the Hieroglyphic Large Box. This is standard store price $2.35 and overall I think it's actually a really cool looking design. Obviously it's got that Egyptian theme, the same as the Hieroglyphic sheet metal door that got added the other day. So if this set does actually continue then the prices of the Hieroglyphic Large Box and the Hieroglyphic sheet metal door will go up in price. So I'm going to say that the Hieroglyphic Large Box is going to be a safe investment. I'm not 100% sure if this set is actually going to be continued. But even if it's not, it is a unique enough looking box skin for it to go up in value either way, especially over time. Which if you are to invest in it, I'm going to say that it's going to be a medium to long term investment anyway. Alrighty, moving over to the monitor door. So I'm assuming this got accepted because of the Rust Plus app that just came out. I am personally not in love with this door skin. I think it's uh, well made and has a decent amount of detail, but the overall colors and stuff like that, I'm not a massive fan of. I'm probably still going to pick one up just because I do think that this kind of style suits Rust pretty well. But overall, there isn't anything too crazy about this monitor door skin. It is going for $2.35, which is the standard store price, so that's a good thing, but... Overall, I'm not a massive fan of the monitor door skin if I'm to be completely honest, but I do still recommend investing in it just because it's $2.35, which is the standard store price, and there's only a couple of skins actually below that value. So $2.35 Australian is $1.64 USD, and at the moment I'm looking at the Steam Community Market in USD because I'm doing it on the... Microsoft Edge Explorer, whatever this is called, and it's only showing four skins out of 108 that are actually below this new standard store price of $2.35. So overall, sheet metal door skins are usually always safe investments, even though they are medium to long term investments. At the moment, this monitor door is the second last item on the Rust Autumn Store's top sellers, the hieroglyphic large box being the last. And I do think that that is a good thing for both of them because they are items that if the quantity becomes too high then their prices really won't increase that much. So that is a good thing for the monitor door. Obviously not a good thing for the skin creator, so sorry to that person. But overall, I do still see this monitor door going up in value. And come Christmas time, I do still think that this monitor door skin will make you some easy money. So overall for this week, I will recommend investing in the monitor door skin. Alrighty guys, moving over to the Sulphur Furnace. This one's going for $2.35 and this is a really unique skin actually. I actually love the look of this skin. Obviously it's themed off of the Sulphur or in the Rust game. And honestly, I'm not sure how anyone else hasn't thought of this. This is actually a really good idea and I do think that this is going to be a safe investment straight up. I also am going to say that if this skin becomes a set, so as in if the if Mishka makes some um, metal and high core metal furnaces as well, that will increase the price of the sulfur furnace and this will be the X Point Boxes 2.0 furnace version so people love to sort stuff out and when you've got a sulfur furnace obviously you're going to put sulfur in it instead of metal etc so either that or you're going to be me and put a rocket launcher in it but overall for the furnace i'm going to recommend investing in that sulfur furnace i do think it's going to be a safe investment even at two dollars and 35 cents and i do see the sulfur furnace being a safe investment for this week let's just quickly check what it's at in the Russell store it's currently the third 
top seller so it literally just swapped um, to the third from the SAR. So there is a chance that someone just bought a whole bunch of them but unfortunately that is out of our control and hopefully that doesn't mean it's going to get a bunch of skins dumped on day one and it's going to ruin the price. So overall I'm still going to recommend investing in the Sulphur Furnace for this week and I do think that it is going to make you some easy profits. Alrighty guys, moving over to the final skin of the week if I'm not mistaken. We've got the UMod Fundraiser Garage Door. Now this is actually an interesting skin. It is going for $3.95 which is above the center store price for deployables like the Garage Door itself. I am just going to straight up say right now, I'm not 100% sure at the at this very moment if this door skin, garage door skin, is actually going to be marketable after it leaves the Rust item store. So the previous Rust charitable items are not marketable and also not tradable, so keep that in mind. It doesn't actually have any clear writing on whether this is going to be marketable or not after its release. And so I will leave that down in a pinned comment below, letting you guys know what I think of it as an investment when I actually find out. So I've messaged that German guy, and just because of the time zone differences, obviously he would be asleep right now, so I haven't gotten a response just yet, and I only just messaged him. So I will let you guys know what I think of it. If it is marketable, I'll let you know what I think of it in this video anyway, assuming it is marketable, but don't buy it just yet, just in case it's not marketable. The first thing I'm going to say is if you're going to invest in it, if it is marketable, I don't think that it's going to be a short-term investment. It's already above the standard store price. It's $3.95, which is $2.75 USD. And the cheapest garage door is $1.49 USD. So it's actually quite a bit cheaper. Overall, in my opinion, the UMod Fundraiser Garage Door is going to be a risky investment. And that is just because its price is above half of the garage doors on the community market at the moment. Although, it is a glow skin, so the UMod Fundraiser Garage Door does actually glow in the nighttime, and that usually does increase the value of deployable items. For example, the House of Horror Garage Door and the Reactor Room 3 of 10 Garage Door are both quite expensive garage door skins, some of the most expensive in fact and they are both glow skins as well. So I do 100% see this UMod Fundraiser Garage Door skin going up in value as a long-term investment. It's $3.95, just keep that in mind. But don't buy it until you check the pinned comments below. If I haven't put a comment below, then it means I haven't yet got a response. But there is a chance that this Garage Door skin mightn't be marketable after it's left the Rust item store. So keep that in mind before you actually buy it, just because you might not actually be able to sell it. So at the moment in the video, I'm not going to recommend investing in it just because I'm unsure on whether you can actually sell it or not. But when I get confirmation on if you can sell the Garage Door skin or not, I'll put a pinned comment down below and I'll let you guys know that you can sell it or you can't sell it. So if you can sell it, I will recommend investing in it. If you're going to try and invest in long-term items, because I do think it will go up in price. But if you're only investing in short-term items, I'm not going to recommend investing in it. Also, if you don't have that much money, I won't recommend investing in it either, just because it is almost $4 Australian. And if you're only using $10 Australian to invest, then that's going to take up 40% of your total wallet. So I won't recommend doing that. It is also the top seller. So unless you sell it on day one, I really don't think that you're going to be making double the value of it or anything like that. So it will be a long-term investment in my opinion, but it will go above $3.95 Australian. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it's come out a day late. It's just because the Rust server that I play on actually wiped yesterday. And so we wanted to stomp kids in tier zero because it is the funnest part of Rust in my opinion. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and remember, have a skits one. All right, at the very end of the video, I decide to go on to Microsoft Edge on the Ross item store and the pictures are working fine. So I could have, this whole thing could have been a lot easier. Of course, I check at the very end, but I, it turns out I couldn't actually buy anything in the Chrome Ross item store at the time. So at the moment, I bought one of everything except for the, except for the Monument Memories SAR, pretty sure it was called and I bought five of the furnaces. So that's gonna cost me $29.85. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and remember, have a skits one. Bruh. Bruh.